like doing my makeup, being chatty, being relaxed, and just, um, and I feel like doing something a little bit different than usual. I wanna do a really bright, um, like a glossy red lip. Okay, I'm gonna start with my face, then I'm gonna also do my hair as well. Um, and I'll just show you guys what I do to get those kind of loose, kind of um, beachy waves and curls into my hair. I'm just gonna go with my old faithful. It's funny, because I didn't like this at first as well, but it's the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in Syracuse. And use about two pumps. And I've been using this Clinique foundation brush as well. Um, and I love it so much. I love <laughs> how chunky it is. And then it also just stipples the makeup in really nicely. I'm gonna go super full coverage just cause that's what I feel like to do it. <laughs> I'm gonna do eyes next. Usually I do my concealer and like finish my base and everything, but let's do eyes. Cause if I mess it up, then we can kind of conceal under. I like to think of this look as like what I'd be wearing if I was going out a lot recently, <laughs> which I haven't cause I can't bloody drink <laughs> um, or anything. So yeah, but this is what I'd kind of go for at the moment if I was like going out at night or you know, stuff like that. It's not as much a daytime look, but I would wear it in the day anyway, cause I don't really care. But I want to go for like, and obviously we're getting in, we're getting slightly into the more festive, period so um i want to do some glitter because i haven't done glitter for so long um but anyway i'm just gonna kind of lay a base down so i got this palette in the post recently it's the ciate chloe morello palette um and it isn't it so pretty and i love the colors i love the colors basically like i really love that all these warm tones and everything so i think i want to use a few of these today i'm going to use just this nude kind of matte color it's called my tribe I'm trying to think of what I can talk about with you guys. I'm in quite a chilled mood today. I haven't had any coffee or anything, so um, I'm kind of just enjoying doing the look or, you know, playing with makeup. <laughs> I really like this colour. It doesn't come off too um, chalky or anything. It's nice to work with. Oh my God, my back. <laughs> it hurts so much now. Okay, so what I want to do is just create a bit of a um, like a bit of shadow in the crease. I'm gonna use this color here. Um, it's just a really light ashy brown. I'm just gonna like define in this crevice. <laughs> crevice, what a horrible word. <laughs> in the crease, basically. So I'm just kind of trying to build that up in the crease and then just blend it out upwards. Obviously it's gonna be subtle. Like I just like subtle look. I mean, I don't know. I like a good bold rip, <laughs> bold lip, but with the lip, blah! <laughs> with the eyes, I just like a subtle, more subtle eye. And that's just, that's just what I like. If you like more out there tutorials, don't watch my channel. <laughs> but if you like to just sit and chat with me, <laughs> then hopefully you like these. I'm gonna put a little bit of um, satin taupe right in the crease there just to make it a bit deeper. Okay, so for the lid, I'm gonna use some of this one here, which is called Daintly. Daintily, Daintly, Daintly. <laughs> This is so pretty. I should wear, I should try out sparkle more. I bet this would look amazing wet as well. It's almost like a pigment. So I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in taupe. brows have grown so much recently they obviously don't like <laughs> they're so sparse but to me because like they've always been super sparse so that's cool but I feel like after I've given birth they'll go back to their old ways <laughs> I 
Okay, so just neaten up around the brows. I'm gonna use a little bit of this. I recently got this, and I haven't really used it that many times yet, but it's the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer. Let me know if you've got this and what you think about it and like what it's best for on the face and things, because I'm new to it. But the color's quite light for me. So, just gonna put a tiny bit under the arch and blend it out, which I probably should have done before. Just with an angled brush, so it's really precise. I'm so intrigued, like how many of you guys, like do many of you watch videos like this when you're doing your makeup yourself, when you're like getting ready for the day, or like do you properly sit and watch them? Because I'm like a mix of both when I watch videos like this, so do you kind of just like doing your makeup with someone, or I don't know, I just find it interesting. <laughs> Let me know. I've just seen this um, eye pencil that I've got. It's a Dolce & Gabbana eyeliner in um, 19, does it have a name? And it's just such a pretty kind of golden, auburn colour so I'm just gonna line like I'm gonna uh, use this along my lash line and just wing it out slightly with a gold I'm so hot in this jumper right now <laughs> just gonna go under my eye with that as well Oh my god, I'm so excited for Halloween. <laughs> this is like the opposite of a Halloween tutorial. But, um, oh, this makes my eyes water. I'm just gonna use the smudger to smudge it out. But yeah, are you guys excited for Halloween? I love Halloween so much. <laughs> um, I think I'm just gonna do like a Halloween movie night in with some people. I'm so excited. <laughs> Let me know what your favourite Halloween movie is. Okay, so I just changed my top because I was getting so hot um, and my hair was annoying me, so yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to apply some fake eyelashes. Um, so I've got these ones. They're by Backstage Lashes. I think I've had them for ages. They've just been sitting in my drawer, but um, I think I'm going to cut them because they're really, really big and then apply them. I have lost my non-latex eyelash glue, so I'm praying that this doesn't make me... Uh, break out because like in a uh, in an allergic reaction because I'm allergic to latex glue for the movie night I really want to watch um, <laughs> uh, Annabelle I think it's cool because I haven't seen it yet I'd love to watch oh my god but it's so scary again um, Conjur the Conjuring 2 the one with the uh, the Enfield house haunting sort of story it was so good if you haven't seen it and you like scary movies definitely see it why do they make them so long? I'll be back when I've applied both because <laughs> it's hard to do this on camera and do it properly. Oh my God, sorry guys. I just sat down and thought I pressed record and then I hadn't pressed record. But basically all I've done is I've just trimmed the lashes. Hey Frank. <laughs> and um, then I just, I've just applied some mascara. Mascara? No, concealer under my eyes here, here, and I was just blending out. And I was saying I trimmed the lashes down because they just looked so big and like so unnatural and clown-like on my face. So I picked this up recently, it's the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and I'd been dying to get my hands on this so I've been really liking it so far. Um, I've been using the Real Techniques, what is this brush? Sculpting brush with it? And usually I just kind of use these two shades. The, that one I find is quite dark. So good, I love it. With this brush as well. Oh my God. <laughs> and I feel like I don't want to talk too much about the products because I'm going to be doing a favorites video soon. So I feel like I can talk about them then. Can't wait to do my hair, it looks so raggedy. Look at it. <laughs> Only because I just haven't done it. It was manic. When I went in to get this palette, Kat Von, the Kat Von D stand was insane.
For my lips, I want to use, to use a matte red lipstick and then on top I'm going to apply a, like a high shine gloss. So I've got the Dior Diorific Matte 750 in Fabulous. <laughs> it looks like it's called Fabulous. Ah, it's not matte. I thought it said matte. Oh. Now I'm gonna apply the. Now I'm gonna apply my high shine lip gloss. This is from Mac. It's just lip gloss in clear. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of highlighter using my. This is a such a gorgeous palette. It's like this hourglass ambient palette. I'm going to use this highlighter which is it's in surreal light. And now I'm just going to quickly do my hair. Yeah so I had my hair done recently like coloured and cut um, I had it done at Hersh Hershison's. I really like it. <laughs> the girl that cut it was so, so nice. She did cut off a bit more than I thought she was gonna cut off. I know that that happens really often. So it, I wanna do this super quickly because um, the glue I put on my eyes is feeling really uncomfortable. Sorry if I was out of focus then. But yeah, the glue is feeling really uncomfortable on my eyes. So I'm just gonna try and get this done as quickly as I can. I'm really sorry, because I, I obviously don't, never wanna rush never want to rush anything but um i need to take these lashes off so on the bottom layers i'm just gonna go backwards and forwards to get that kind of wavy look so i've just kind of roughly done the bottom layers it doesn't matter as much about the bottom layers um, but the top layers I'm gonna tong with my curl curling wand. So the look that I always go for is like an undone look, you know, it's kind of effortless, but um, it still looks like there is a little bit of a curl to the hair. So I just wrap it around like twice and then leave out um, kind of a few inches, I guess. Does anyone use inches anymore <laughs> of hair? And then I don't hold it for very long and then just let it drop and then it doesn't look too overdone like when you when you come to the end and I always curl away from the face so about twice round I don't curl the end and just kind of hold it for a few seconds and let go because you want a really kind of loose curl and out the front I actually usually use the straighteners this is a GHD wand, by the way. I didn't say what wand it was. I'll link it down below. It is amazing. I love it so much. It works so fast. I'm gonna put a little bit of dry shampoo in. I love a bit of dry shampoo. <laughs> It makes it look and feel a little bit less done. I actually need to run to the post office. <laughs> so I'm gonna look so like jazzy for the post office. So this is pretty much the final look. I hope you guys have liked this video. I really enjoyed doing this look. It's just a shame that I have to take these um, eyelash eyelashes off. I love this glossy rod. rod. <laughs> I love this glossy red lip. I really want to start wearing a glossy red lip a bit more now. Um, and this gloss is amazing from MAC as well. So I didn't want to kind of add too much to the fa the base and the face. Um, I just thought it would be nice to kind of concentrate on the eyes and the lips. I think that's everything. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Sorry about the tooth issue. <laughs> I'll put everything in the description box down below. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.